Hey guys, I am Derek the Nitwit. Thanks for stopping by and checking out today's video. So today's video is going to be a super short one. Um, I've enjoyed my day of rest. I have rested all day. Um, I just recently started knitting for the first time today. I've got two rows done of my Harry Potter washcloth. Um, and that very well may be all I do today. I have just enjoyed laying here watching YouTube and taking a nap. And I think that I may take another nap, um, which may turn into me just going to bed early. Um, my sister did respond to the, my last message and our ballpark figure for what time we're moving tomorrow is round two, so I get to sleep in in the morning, which is nice. Um, so I will probably aim to pick her up. I think he said he's going to be done in round two, so I'm going to aim to pick her up around two, I think. Um, I'll message her in the morning and get clearer information. Um, oh, excuse me. My Amazon packages for this week, um, I'd set up the Amazon day delivery again. I decided I would give it a second try. This time there was a warning on there that due to the current circumstances, packages may show up a day early, which irritates me because what's the point in doing Amazon day delivery if the packages aren't going to come on the day that you suggest um, set for them to come. Although it, to be fair, I think the entire purpose of Amazon day delivery is to have all your packages come in fewer boxes than when you just have your orders come as you order them. So I've got a new pill dispenser coming because this one that I love is breaking, and um, Amazon doesn't sell it anymore. Otherwise, I would buy another one of it. Be um, and I know that they've got some that you can get at Dollar Tree. I've gotten them before, but they're not big enough for the number of pills that I take in the morning, so... Hopefully this one that I ordered from Amazon will work. And then I got some in-wash scent boosters just because I want to see if they work very well. And I had a $10 Amazon courtesy credit, so they didn't cost me anything to try them out. But I did find out that even though UPS theoretically would let me change the day it was delivered, it wouldn't let me change the day it was delivered. There was an option there, but it just wouldn't let me choose anything. But it did let me ch change where it was getting delivered to. So instead of going to my house, because who knows when Amazon's going to, or when UPS is going to come into my house, because, you know, you can't depend on them. Um, you can't trust what time of day that they're going to come at consistent time. Um, and you also can't trust, apparently trust the map thing feature anymore, because last time it just kept saying on the road, on the road, on the road, then it went straight to delivered and stolen. So, um, but anyway, you can change, they have delivery point, delivery access points, so there's the CVS that's about a mile, mile and a half from here, is a access point, so I will let UPS deliver my packages there, and I will pick them up sometime Tuesday. Hopefully, they will come before um, I go to help my sister move, but just in case they don't, then they should be able to come that evening, or if not, I'll pick them up the next day after my doctor visit. Um, speaking of my doctor visit, we, me and my doctor both prefer for my, to have the visits in clinic. We like the, the in-person visits better. And it even says that on the paperwork each time when I go to a Monday appointment. And I even clarified to them last time, it's an in-office visit, not virtual. And then I got the email that 
reminding me about my virtual visit coming up. So uh, I got that a couple days ago. So I called them and I was like, um, no, it's supposed to be in person. So they ch they changed it. And then this morning I got another, I got the second email reminding me of my upcoming visit. So I called again and I was like, okay, I've already called once on this. It's supposed to be in person. And they looked and they said, yeah, even your notes say it's supposed to be in person. So they got it changed. They told me they got it changed. I got off the phone and not even 10 minutes later, I get an email saying that my appointment has been canceled, which of course freaks me out. So I call them right back and like, no, that was your virtual visit being canceled. Your in-person in-clinic visit is still um, scheduled. So I have that visit on Wednesday. Um, but other than that, I don't know what we'll be doing. I'm sure Thursday my sister will probably want to go out and get a load from the house. Um, I don't know how much big stuff because that we've got left because Robert can only help on Tuesday and then next Sunday he should be able to help again. Um, and next Sunday is the last day that we have to move stuff. But we don't have... We've got... Three big things left to move, and one of them will actually condense down. It's a wire shelf that, or a shop shelf that we've got to take apart. Um, but hopefully we'll be able to get that most of that done on Tuesday, and hopefully get the little things out of the garage that my sister wants, so that I don't have to make a bunch of trips out there this week because I'm really getting tired of, of the drive. And I think my legs are not liking sitting in a truck that much because my feet and ankles have been swelling up every evening the last several days that I've had to go move stuff. Um, I don't know if maybe it's just the position because I'm used to sitting with my legs up and when you're driving a truck, you can't really do that. So, but anyway, um, I am off to feed the furry little dictators and crawl in bed with my blanket so I can take my nap that may turn into going to bed early just because I've enjoyed this day of rest and I really, really needed it. So anyway, I will see you guys tomorrow.